you smell that? Can you smell it? That is the fear. The fear of Sunderland. The black cats are terrified because we are hunting down there. Their breath, their, we are right at the back of their neck. We are looking for the first league title of the series. We've won promotion to the championship. Let's not let this slip. Let's let's do everything we can do. Win two games and it may be possible. Oh, league title. Just imagine. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Football Manager video number 30 something, 40, I don't know, I've lost count, but this is the final one of our League One season. The league title is within within reach, we just need Sunderland to mess up once more really, um, and we've got to do our jobs of course. Two big games, two big games for Sunderland, the title running couldn't be any tighter. Two fixtures today then, we are away at Lincoln who are 20th in the league, fighting for relegation, fighting for survival. Um, Sunderland go away to Ipswich who may not have as much to on the line which is a bit of an issue but if we look at the league table there's just a point in it. We have a better goal difference now and there is just one point in it. If Sunderland don't win their two games they could find themselves in second position we don't win our two games we will find ourselves in second position it's as simple as that i think and the team for today looks like this it's the team that's really been playing over the last few games particularly the last one kelleher in goal the back four as per usual mason baija cardozo and lopez zambarek and longstaff in the middle had a great game last time out and uh, yeah they'll continue politic on the right we're going to play frank berry blackwood behind the striker dylan levitt's got a slight knock he'll be on the bench but uh, we're going to give Barry Blackwood the start. I think he's 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 a perfectly good um, replacement. If we look at the coach report, he is a Sky Bet level, Sky Bet League One level player and a Premier Division centre midfielder of the future, perhaps. So yeah, worth giving him the game. Batista Mar on the left, of course, and Bryn Mulvaney up front. You might tell him at the end of a, th a sort of triple recording session. I just I want to keep playing and keep playing, and uh, boys, just keep doing what you're doing. I'll carry on what you what I'm doing. Have a look at that. Callum Cockrell Mollett. Hello, my friend. How are you? He's now at Lincoln after a couple of bad years at Peterborough. He had his good year for us there, but he was never number one. He, I mean, Joel Lopez, he just doesn't compare now. I'm not going to compare them. But yeah, nice to see him. Nice to see him. Is that Joe Willis as well? Joe Willis as well came through our youth academy and we had dev just didn't play him. Just didn't play him. And Brandon Hornstrup as well. Well, we, we're visited by a few old friends here. Um, had that loan spell with us. Only the seven games. It wasn't really important. But, boys, today, just get on with the job. Just get on with it. Of course, then attention will turn towards Ipswich and Sunderland. If Ipswich can do us a favour, just like QPR did really last time out, and we can win the game, we'll go top of the league. It's as simple as that. Um, at the moment, there's not a lot happening, but we have a free kick. Batista Meyer from range and Vickers tips it wide. We've got the top scorer in Bryn Mulvaney. I, I would suspect we've got the top assist. I haven't looked. We should, we'll have a look at the end of the episode to see where it all ends up. But we have a good team. Um, defensively, I don't think we're quite sound at times, which is the issue. It looks like um, Lincoln are going to come forward here. Morris to Harriet, And I am a little bit worried. Um, when they come forward, when we, we just don't look defensively sound, like I say, Hornstrup finds a cross and Ota has flashed it wide. At the moment, there's just not a lot happening in the game. As I say that, a highlight starts, so maybe that will be what's needed. Batista Meyer, of course, will always look to come inside. It's got to go wide right, really. It doesn't. Mulvaney instead. It's not the best pass by Longstaff, really. Mulvaney struggled with it. We nearly win it back with Barry Blackwood, but it's just it's a little bit juttery at the moment for us we're not quite in our stride surprisingly considering we just beat Coventry 3-0 that's a good win by Politic though the ball over the top wasn't fantastic though can we sort of get on this and perhaps create an opportunity again Politic not a great ball but it'll fall through for Mulvaney and that's one of the worst finishes he will ever have in his career he is better than that half time then Lincoln nil, Warsaw nil. I'm going to tell the boys I'm actually not happy with the performance I think we're better than this we're not quite up to speed right now. Ipswich are beating Sunderland. Wow. 
What a start to the second half that is. Now, boys, get yourself a goal. We are top of the league on goal difference, by the way, after that. But a goal here, and it's 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 completely in our hands if it's, if it continues like this. So come on, boys. Zambarek, Barry Blackwood finds a ball wide for Mason. We need a goal, boys. We need something. We're trying to work it. Zambarek wide. Oh, he's gone back to Bijer. Who's pulled, oh, I mean, we're getting away with it a bit there. Barry Blackwood I might bring Dylan Levitt on because Barry Blackwood's not offering a lot. He's not sort of getting into these positions. He's over here. It's a good ball wide. Politics headed it on. It will fall back for Dennis Politic. It's gone in and the assistant's running away, which means the goal counts. And Lincoln, they've been a struggle, but we finally found a way through. And that is a goal that will take us perhaps to the top of the league and perhaps to a league title. 99 points at least. And now all attention is on Ipswich. It really is. Ipswich, please hold on. I mean, another highlight, a second goal. Will be lovely. Zambarek's giving it away though. And Salt can come forward. Salt for Lincoln. He's still going. And Keller has tipped it wide. Payne will whip in the corner. Zambarek will head it away. The game's a little bit even for my liking right now. I wonder what I can do to change it. Um, I think Dylan Levitt's probably the best option. But a goal here might be the icing on the cake. Good ball in. Baja's there. He's at the bar. He scored the all-important goal that sort of set us up for a promotion last time out. That's That's unfortunate. We will get Dylan Levitt on, by the way. Barry Black was not had a bad game. 6.8. I don't like bringing players off at that sort of rating too too often. But I think Dylan Levitt offers us a little bit more. Batista Maia goes close there. Holding on to this 1-0 win is massive for us. 13 minutes now. I'm also thinking, don't change a thing. I'm thinking continue because time is flicking. Time is flying. It's still 1-0 Ipswich. It's 1-0 Warsaw. Just let time fly. Oh no, a corner in, it's whipped in, Hornstrup's hit the bar. We might have gotten away with one. We might have gotten away with one. We're into added time, it's still Ipswich 1, Sunderland 0. The title, oh, I think we've got one hand on it really. It's full time, it's over. Yes, 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 yes. Lincoln 0, uh, Warsaw 1. I mean, we weren't, we weren't at our best, but we got the job done. And Sunderland haven't. There was a late red card for Daniel Batis, and Sunderland went down to 10 men. So that'll be a suspension. Wow. We are in a position where a point realistically could seal it. Could seal it. Wow, we're so close. I wasn't expecting Sunderland to bottle it like they have, but they really have a good win for the boys. And now we just continue on. We continue on. We've ended the season so well. So well. We stuttered for a while. That there really stuttered us. But we've ended the season so well. Three wins in a row. If we can make it four against Rotherham, who are in 19th against Light Lincoln, it won't be easy. Rotherham, I think, are probably going to stay up. They're probably going to stay up, so we don't have a... Maybe there's not a lot on the line. For us, it's just win. It's just win and we win the title. Okay, then here we go. We have Rotherham away from home. Another away game. Sunderland are also away to Gillingham. But it's so in our hands, it's unreal. Win the game, boys. It's as simple as that. We've had to make a change. Um, and it's a bit of a shame for one. Lucas Baja perhaps has played his last game for the club. He could come back next year on a loan deal. Perhaps. I'm going to see what's out there. But he is an option. He's a good player for us this year. That's no doubt about it. 7.23. I just feel like there could be a better option out there. And he's been decreasing with us. So that's not always great. But he's suspended. So he's out. That's him finished for this season at least. And the team for today then, Keller in gold. Mason on the right back position. It's going to give Reese Williams a chance to get a start. He's a man that perhaps, perhaps is in threat. I've got to be honest with you. I mean, he is a decent player for League One, but maybe with us going up, he might he might struggle to get in. Cardoso will be his centre-back partnership. Um, Lopez on the left. Zambaret, Longstaff, Politic, Levert, Batista, Meyer and Mulvaney. Mulvaney and Batista, Meyer are probably playing their last games for the club i will say that much batista meyer definitely is can they fire us to a trophy which will be our first trophy in the save i'm pretty sure so huge we're playing in black today which is weird uh rather um, have matt ritchie playing right back right wing not right back he's their top scorer so that says a lot about their season jude russell is playing right back um anybody else worth picking out probably not Oh, boys, we're so close. It really is simply that we have to do our job. It 
doesn't really matter how Sunderland get on if we win the game. An early highlight for Rotherham, though. Oh, no, and Sunderland have scored at the same time. Are you joking? Richie's free kick in, headed in by Nelson, and Sunderland scored in the exact same minute, it felt. And all of a sudden, they're top of the league. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, can we get back into this? Batista Meyer with a corner of his own. It's towards Mulvaney. Zambarek's there. Can't get a shot away. William's still there. He as well couldn't get a shot away. And now Taylor Hart with time to bring it away. Right. I mean, there's a lot of time left to go in this. That's got to be mentioned. But Jesus Christ, what's going on? Batista Meyer, can he find a ball in? Lopez, maybe. Lopez is cross. Politic, yes. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. And I think we go back top of the league on goal difference. We just can't lose today, I think, basically. Obviously, it depends if Sunderland win like 3-0. Um, they're 1-0 up at the moment. We've gone back up to the top of the league. Maybe it's a bit bit more space. If they're coming at us, a bit more space for Bryn Mulvaney. Uh, Batista Meyer on the left-hand side here. He's pulled inside for Zambarek to Levitt. And uh, it's a great ball. Dennis Politic, long staff. I mean, it didn't quite work out for us, but we've got it back. Politic's having a great end to the season, by the way. Zambarek to Longstaff again. It's a ball wide right, really, and he's found Mason. Now it's into Politic. It could have gone. It didn't. We've been a little bit patient. Um, Rotherham have got a lot of men back. They're defensively quite shaped well. We just need to be patient and find a way through. That's a great ball. And Joel Lopez has forced a save from Bycroft. We look okay without being spectacular at the moment. And from set pieces, we could be in a bit of danger. Taylor Hart should be underneath that. Um, can Dylan Levitt get a foot in? Not quite. Morley to keep it alive maybe for Rotherham to Serrar. And Russell, Jude Russell to Nelson, the goal scorer. They are getting a lot of men forward. Taylor Hart now, this is an option for them. And it's Clark, and we've hacked it clear by Politic. But uh, are we looking a bit nervous, maybe? I'm not sure. Not really sure. Kane, Sarah, they're, they're playing really well, Rotherham. And Clark has scored a very good goal. Half time, and we're 2 1 down. And we haven't looked good. I'm going to get Paris Magoma on, I think. Matty Longstaff's having a bad game. It's still only 1-0 at Sunderland. So a goal for us changes everything. We need something. Lopez coming forward. It's still Lopez. It's still Lopez. And Mycroft made the save. Bycroft, sorry. We haven't saw enough out of Mulvaney in this final game. A 6.3 in his final game for the club, perhaps. I mean, we'll see what happens here. Batista Meyer with a corner in. Is that a penalty? It's been given. Massive moment. It's going to be Oliver Batista Meyer in his final game for the club. Perhaps the goal that could win us the title here. Oliver Batista Meyer, please score. He does score. It's 2-2. And that will be enough. Unless Sunderland scored late goals. Oh, I shouldn't have kept it on attacking. Richard whipped it in. Nelson, it's off the line. It's, it's somehow been saved. The pressure is unreal. Do we make a late change? I mean, Bryn Mulvaney's on a 6.4. I can't believe he's ended his Warsaw career that way, but Eddie Brown's coming on. It could it could work. It could be a masterstroke. Magoma's come on and not had a good game. I'm watching Sunderland, and I'm thinking, please don't score late goals. Please don't score late goals. A 2-2 will be enough. We haven't been good. A 2-2 is enough for Rotherham as well. We need to remember that. Time's flick through. We've done it. We've done it. Yes. Yes. We've done it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Champions of League One on goal difference as well. Sunderland must be gutted. I am so happy. We nearly threw it away. But two goals is all that mattered. And those two goals mean we, we are champions. What a moment. What a moment for the team. What a moment for the save. They had more wins in the season. But I was worried to be honest with you, that we were drawing too many games. It saved us in the end. Top of the league. Champions. Champions. Some great results in there. 6-0 against Wigan. 5-1 against Oldham. 5-1 against Exeter. 4-0 against Shrewsbury. Brinville, Mulvaney, top of the goal scorer. We'll have a look at that in a moment. We've done it, though. Wow, wow, wow. Praised by the Walsall supporters, I'd hope so. The board are incredibly happy. As you would expect, we've won medals, we've got money. And if we do look at the awards, uh, not the awards, stats, it is the top goal. We've scored the most goals by seven to Sunderland. We've got the best shooting accuracy, that's no surprise. Oh, amazing, amazing. If we have a look at the player and Bryn Mulvaney tops the goal scoring chart by 
14 goals, 37 league goals is incredible. Batista Meyer up there with 20 as well. Those two have really pushed us. Assist-wise, Batista Meyer loses out by one, which is a shame. Zambarek, most key passes I can see in there. And I'm not sure if we'll come anywhere else. Least conceded, Kelleher. Uh, 37 isn't bad. Most clean sheets. Kelleher has got 18, which is pretty good. Wow, boys. Wow. It's a shame for the likes of Bryn Mulvaney, who's not expected to come back next year. He could, but that is one stellar year. 37 in 42. Only the five assists. Batista Meyer as well. He's going to go to Cardiff and he's going to rip the division up. He's going to be, he's going to score against us next year, I'm sure of it. But let's enjoy this while we can, because that is incredible. Other people, of course, Jan Zambarek is deservedly mentioned. Best year of his career. Best year of his career, just about. And he's won us promotions to the championship. Amazing. Matty Longstaff as well, I should mention, has had a good year. 7.13, six goals, three assists. Really good from him. Dennis Politic came good towards the end. 12 goals in the end of all of it. Eight assists as well. Really good. A good season once again. Dylan Levitt, maybe not as impressive as usual, but a pretty good year. Um, it's a position I probably am going to look at. At the back, Goncalo Cardoso, who's back for another year, a 7.15. Mason, a 7. I mean, you can see it, can't you? Joel Lopez came in and really added something in those 16 games to me. And Kelleher in goal, he's, he's been a lot better than I thought he would. A lot better than I th thought he would. Perhaps I'd like him to concede a little less when we do concede, but 18 clean sheets. And we are the champions. That's the end of the episode. If you've enjoyed it, and why wouldn't you have enjoyed it? We've won the bloody league title. It's brilliant. Make sure you like the video to show your support. Until next time, oh, God, make sure you're subscribed as well because the championship season could be a madness. I've got a summer to figure out a squad here because we might not be ready, particularly if we can't replace them. It's going to be very hard, so you'll have to see what we do in the next episode. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you're ready, and until next time, peace.